Out of bounds where Bond scoops it up and gets it back to his netminder. A couple of early goals, but both of these netminders really impressive. Yeah, Second career well. start by Levine, first for Birkinshaw. Good setup here for the Cavaliers. Tick tack toe, they go back on top. Tumbling goal by Matt Moore to make it 4 3. And it all starts with the ride, and that's something that Coach Tiffany was talking about before the game. He said, you know, the rule changes bring the ride. Laviano has it trail checked away by Terry Lindsay. Another turnover by Virginia. And now do it sloppy in the clearing game. Moore has it for Virginia. Movement for Virginia here. Here's a jump shot from Moore. Can't get it to go. Saved by Spence. And the ground ball picked up by Lehigh. A spin to get out of trouble, but right into the direction of Virginia. Off the pipe. Now the second one is finished. This we'll take another look here. Just unable to scoop it cleanly in the stick. First miss from Laviano. But following it up is Connor. We'll take a break. Face here. off for Smith. Rolling towards the Maris goal, but that provides an advantage to the Red Foxes. It's sent back to McGregor. 15 seconds to get over the midline. This is where Virginia's going to go ahead and try to put the pressure on, and they do a nice job of reversing the ball, getting it over. Now they've got to beat the pressure at the midline. Shoveled back. That wasn't necessarily the best idea. Constant was put in trouble, and that trouble cost him the ball. Aviano out with it. Now, when I talked to Coach Wilkinson uh, yesterday, he said the Virginia ride. Oh, wide open Fox. He just stayed home, and that's an easy enough goal for John Fox, the sophomore, with his second of the year. Well, that just talked about you know anytime you lose the ball in a live situation like that, your your defense is just 40 or 50 yards away from the goal. There's no way to recover. McGregor left on the nice clear at less than 70% against Virginia. You're watching why right now. O'Connell absolutely devoured, and the Cavaliers get it back. For a team with round balls embody that in his eyes. Connor couldn't handle the pass. Scooped up by Keelty, shovels it ahead. How about the aggression from Connor from behind to get it back for UVA? Kicked aside by Levine, scooped up on a high hop by Med Gulchi. Here's the ride by Virginia. A lot of pressure. Somehow they snuck that pass to Levine. That was nearly intercepted. Ball loose on the far sideline, and the Cavaliers get it right back with numbers. Three on one, and that's an easy goal by Matt Moore, the sophomore. Found clear by the Tigers as it was intercepted, and there's not a lot that John Levine could have done about that one. No, it's really the second time that the ride has just ended with quite an easy goal for Matt Moore. Function, and they're working together. Krause beats the double team, but can't beat Ryan Darby. Lost! The rebound! Perfect position! And Matt Moore puts it home! Stick up in the passing lane from Darby. Watch, Moore charges the cage. Stick in the air, snags it, finishes it. It looks a lot like Matt Poske, who I played with in 2006. He probably had one of those games, and I'm not even exaggerating. It's an Once opportunity. It, Schwenk gave him a piece of his mind. Virginia hardly losing a step going with Schwenk from La Sala. The passes have sharpened up for Maris, though. James Lyons tumbled by Jama. And it's all clean. Jama's knocked the ball away from Lyons, and Connors picks it up. Tough defending, and that's the Virginia right at its best. Ryan Conrad to Moore, right through the wickets, 13-4. Good line. Wasn't called, and Virginia gets another easy goal. Great late fake by Moore. Not clear for the Terps, O'Connell. Trail check by Moore, knocks it loose. There's the ride by Virginia. Locked away. Syracuse's interior defense has been good in their last two wins over Albany and Army. That was a great check from Tyson Bomberry. Ball on the ground quite a bit. Are you surprised to see a little sloppiness in the clearing game? Well, good ground ball play, but nobody's following it up just by making simple passes. 
He'll try and go himself. He's dropped it. This is a big opportunity for Virginia. Two on one plus the goalkeeper. Across in front, Laviano. He could hardly miss 3-1. Yeah, Jack Cook gets caught on the sidelines. Now, those are big turnaround goals right there. You, again, you see he spins away from more ball, comes out of his stick, and then it's two on one. And it's a question of either making a feed or taking a shot. Time of the day. There to offer their it kind advice. Turned over more right in front. Had to score and he did. Looked like he got pushed too, but it didn't matter. Well, you got the two flags. Opportunistic from Moore. Just a quick fire exchange back and forth. In a position where the, the ball can move quickly, you get a turnover. So credit again, Lehigh's strategy of forcing Virginia away from their dodges and Lehigh making them a pass. Frustrating team. Virginia. Here comes the Cavalier ride though. Loose ball, empty net momentarily. Lehigh recovers, now still out there, and then finally away from danger there. You know, if you're Virginia, this is not, this is the kind of game you actually would like to have. A little, a little bit. Sean Kerwin dials up here, wants to take a little bit of that clock away before Virginia gets into it, and Krause loses it, dispossessed of CT right there from Chris Price. They're actually shutting off more on that play. And now it's loose on the far sidelines, spinning away and sucking up another ground ball is Taylor Acker, who's been very impressive, but he lobs one a little bit high. Virginia with 6.8 seconds to go. Yeah. Right. Run right by him. Looking to feed, it's knocked away, and now a transition opportunity for Yale, fake. Stick check from behind, no flag, loose ball. Wow. Playing 57%, but it's his big game experience. I mean, you talk to John Donowski, this is senior, but he's really only played like freshman or sophomore minutes. Played a little bit for Fowler last year, but this is his real first taste. Aiken with a whistler wide. And round, loose ball. Plants can't scoop it up. Kicked it with those green cleats. More on the deck. Everybody's falling. Plants ambushed. Comes back to Virginia and Peel. Here's Dixon. Really Thought about it. Shameless self-promotion. The game will be on ESPNU, the title game. What a save. Again from McGregor. Yep. And what we're seeing now looks like Maris has gone back to probably a defense that they played most of the year there. Starting Zach Kevler still have it. Going to ground is Matt Moore. He loses it out of his stick. Still loose. Lehigh is going to scoop the ground ball momentarily, but still not clear of danger. And now back into Spence's hands. Spence the lob. Lehigh with numbers, but doubtful they will use them. Almost a turnover there for the Mountain Hawks, and there is the dispossess. And the Tigers will send in Strip Walker to join the fray. Pass deflected right to Levine. Armin Medgalchi broke that one up, and then the Tigers put it on the turf. Bonds able to scoop it up. Andrew Song with a man on his heels fires it out of bounds. Aaron pass for pass by Virginia and LaSalle that time the faceoff man running offense. Got a yard sale, helicopter check. Rolls over the midline. J.T. Giles Harris whips it downfield. And Duke gives it back. Look at that hustle on the ride. I think part of it is because his defense seems to be more uh, comfortable in what they're doing, and uh, he's been able to step up and make some saves for him. And also, he's maybe a little more active than McGregor was in the clearing game, and this, therefore he was carrying the ball through the Virginia ride. Thrown long, a hopeful pass. Early in this one, we see it. Tigers already one failed clear today. You have until the 62nd mark on the shot clock to get it past. McGulchy's pass knifed down by Matt Moore. Foul Virginia on the play. So good on those ground balls right in front off of rebounds. Schmidt's got to make clean saves. Yeah, but that again right there, that's a... That's another turnover, McCann flying out of bounds. But look, I mean, Virginia again, Kraus by the midfield line. Teo Dahl. Apparently ground ball number 42. Tubbs though having trouble with the clear. Oh! Gebert gets sandwiched. 
Moore trying to shovel it off the ground. One won the score, not even five minutes deep into the first quarter last year. If you liked offense, Charlottesville was a good place to be for this matchup. 33 goals, 91 shots. Prince to clear it. The shot clock did not reset. Three seconds. Four seconds to get it across. And they didn't do it. It has to be a cross midfield. It is a low possession game. Lead the turnovers. 12 turnovers in a game with few possessions. That's.